Today I'll be teaching you about how to go about signing up with CJ.com. CJ.com is an affiliate network. It's pretty exciting because you can come here and uh, discover different offers within one network instead of going to different websites individually and signing up with their affiliate programs separately. So CJ.com is one of the biggest uh, affiliate networks out there and we're going to get more into detail here about CJ and all the different offers available not every single one of them of course but you know the major ones that you can uh, discover and so we're going to get started here to, uh, to start off with on showing you how to sign up with CJ and the steps to take so once you come here to CJ.com just pull that up in your browser then you'll want to scroll down here a little bit and you'll notice a section called publishers or publisher Okay, if you're a person wanting to publish or market or promote someone else's product, then you'd come here and sign up as a free publisher uh, or for a free publisher account. Sorry. So you just scroll down here and click on free publisher sign up, and that's going to bring you over to their uh, setup page here where you can click on sign up today. It'll bring you over to the application for CJ. If you're in, uh, in the States or speak English, then just mark the applicable buttons. You're in English, you speak English, the country. Okay, once you uh, click on the country and the functional currency, okay, I'm, the, I'm in the United States, then uh, you scroll down and click on next. Once you click on next, this box will pop up. You can just, you know, skim through it or read it and then click on close. It's important to, uh, and read that and understand the nature of the environment that you're coming into with CJ because you know there's rules to follow to play the game correctly. So be sure to read that and uh, be aware of uh, you know, the you know, the rules to follow. Okay, because it's really important to follow those rules. Otherwise, you'll easily get uh, you know kicked out of CJ and lose all the commissions that you earn. So it's really important to follow those rules. So this uh, main application with CJ, you simply come through here and you know read it. You can go through this uh, little box right here. It's a uh, you know it'll show you some type of yeah there it is okay so the scroll bar over here on the left hand the right hand side you can scroll through there scroll all the way down to the bottom. Once you do that, you'll see this accept button, and once you click on accept, then you can move on. Okay, normally it should have marked this box automatically, but it didn't. So just go through and mark that box. Then continue on, mark all these boxes. Okay, just go through the terms and conditions of each one. Code of conduct, privacy policy, age certification, certification of authority, China provision. Okay, just mark all those boxes. Come down here to the site information, the website or newsletter name. This is what your you know, site or newsletter name is. If your site is, uh, you know, you know, that's the name of our site. Just the, uh, not the full domain name, but just the name, okay? And then the website URL right down here is the uh, full URL. Okay, once you uh, do that, then just describe your site. It's very important to describe the nature of your site in detail here. Okay, so describe in detail here because what will happen is a lot of times when you apply to the affiliate programs inside of the network they'll uh, they'll look at this okay the uh, people who and the advertisers who review your application they'll want to make sure that you're uh, you're going to be following by the rules and also it's going to be a good fit and so just describe the nature of your website here in detail okay then choose the category that's most relevant Okay, and then the current monthly unique visitors. What that is is, if you haven't launched your website yet, then just click on not yet launched. But if uh, you've been in around just a little bit but haven't uh, generated a ton of traffic yet, this is a 99,000 yeah unique visitors or less. Okay, so just uh, you know, mark the applicable traffic. Uh, stat there for the unique visitors. A unique visitor is simply a person who visits your website from one computer. 
Okay, you'll want to define your promotional methods down here. So if you're uh, promoting you know, products and services through the network on your website and through blog posting and so forth and the content that you create, mark that box. And search engine marketing, okay, through search engines like Google and Bing and so forth. And email marketing, if you plan on selling or sending uh, emails out to anyone, and be sure to mark that one. And if you develop any software, which uh, most people don't right up front when they get started you know, with uh, affiliate marketing, then you don't have to worry about marking that one. But if you do have a particular software that you have developed or are going to be developing, then just mark that one. Okay. The uh, next question here says, does your website offer incentives to visitors and donate a portion of the proceeds to charity or require special approval from advertisers? Okay, this is really important right here. What it's asking you is if you're offering, like I said, incentives, which you're paying someone or donating a portion of the proceeds that you earn from your commissions. Yeah, if you do that, then mark yes, but most people will not be doing that. And just a word of warning on that, most uh, companies do not want to see people offer, you know, offering incentives to promote their products. Now, once in a while, you'll come across them, but it's not too often. So it's best to mark that as no, unless you really are planning on doing that. And if you are, then just know that most of the uh, you know, applications will be denied, you know, most likely, unless you just target incentive offers only, which are far and few between through uh, the CJ network. So if you do mark yes, then describe the nature of your incentive program. Just mark, if, not, if no, then just skip this spot right here. Okay? The contact information is pretty straightforward. Just fill out the uh, info, first name, last name, phone, email, it's required. Okay, the company information, and as it says, if you don't have a company, just put your name. If you don't have an LLC or a corporation, okay, you're, you'll just act as a sole proprietor and just put your name there. Address, city, state, zip code, country, all that stuff's pretty straightforward. Your phone for your business, your currency, Okay, down here it's going to ask you to type in the characters that you see right here. This is the uh, to, you know, to block out uh, um, automated robots and you know, spammers. So you just type in that box. And then once you do, you click on Accept Terms. Once you click on Accept Terms, when you're all done, you're going to receive an email with your username and password. The username will usually be your email, and the password will be pre-generated by CJ. So once you've uh, received that username and password from uh, CJ, then you're ready to go. Okay, you're ready to come over here back to CJ.com. Okay, we're going to come back here up to the main page with CJ and show you how to log in. Okay, so once again, check your email after you apply. It should only take maybe 5 to 15 minutes or so for you to receive that email. If you don't receive the email inside of your inbox, then check your uh, spam or your trash folders. Alright, so now that you've received the login to your CJ account, you'll simply want to come over here to CJ.com and then navigate over here to the right hand side where it says login and simply log into your account. So for this particular uh, demo, I'll be using a different account and showing you how to go about not just logging in but choosing great offers within the CJ network and how to get started with uh, promoting offers. So once you log in, then you'll uh, come to the home page. You'll see a bunch of different stats down here telling you how much you've made you know, yesterday, uh, today, the last week, month, last uh, year, and so forth. You can check those out. The advertisers right here, advertisers are people and companies who have developed products and services that are looking for people like you as an affiliate, as a publisher. An affiliate and or a publisher means the same thing, okay? So you are what we call a publisher if you're publishing or promoting someone else's product or service. But down here underneath the advertiser section simply just tells you with the uh, you know the newest offers that have come into the network and who've who's recently joined along with the top 10 and the recommended. So you can check those out if you're interested. If you're just browsing around for general type of offers then this is uh, a good place to go just to begin with. But uh, let's jump into things here and show you how to you know, drill down and get more specific with the offers that you're looking for and or are interested in. 
And actually, before we get into that, just as a really important side note, and you're always interested in making money, so up at the top right, you'll notice that this balance up here will tell you the money that you've generated so far, the commissions that have been credited to your account. So, you know, once, uh, usually, when, once this amount reaches $100, then they'll send you a check, and you'll be uh, ready to go with that, okay? You can always increase the amounts, but it needs to reach a $100 threshold at least to start off with. At the uh, time of this recording, that's the case, and then uh, they'll send you a check to you know, the address on file, and then uh, you'll be able to cash it. It's always a good day. <laughs> so let's uh, get started here and help you uh, uh, and teach you how to look for offers. The first thing you want to do is click on Get Links. You'll notice that there's a few subcategory or subcategory links down here: general categories, advertiser list, smart zone settings, and buyer relationship. We'll get into those four sections a little bit later, but right now, once you click on Get Links, you'll notice that this filter area allows you to drill down more specifically searching for advertisers links or products that you may be interested in okay I'm just gonna be uh, searching for advertisers at this moment and just leave it as is and so if you're interested in advertisers who are promoting things regarding to health you can type in health and then you can even choose the additional search options down here most people don't really need to worry about the search options unless you're you know, the, the detailed search options right there unless you're really looking for something specific okay so if you're a beginner you're a newbie to this you're just getting started you know, don't worry about these two filters they're just there to help you filter through your search results you know, with all the offers and there's literally thousands of different companies that uh, that CJ has within their network okay so you can either search right here by the category and click on find or you can come down here and view the uh, the categories based upon your interest and or your uh, business niche okay so if you're interested in you know sports and fitness we'll take that as an example there's a bunch of different subcategories that you can look at as well but let's just take sports and fitness as an example and we'll click on that and uh, show you how to look for offers once you click on that sports and fitness example category, then you'll notice that there's a whole list of advertisers over here in this column. There's advertisers here in this column. We're going to go and talk about each of these columns here and what they mean. But just pay special attention to the advertiser column over here, and you'll notice that this check mark box is next to each one. All right. So if you want to mark uh, if you want to uh, apply to any of these companies, you simply mark the box, okay, and you apply to the program. Okay, well, we're going to go over that here just briefly, but let me teach you just a little bit about how to choose an offer that is great to promote. Okay, before we apply to these companies, what you want to do is make sure you look at, well, first and foremost is your interest and al aligning that interest to a, a profitable demand out there okay I'm taking um, the assumption that you've done your research you know you know who your target target audience is who your competitors are you know you know what niche you're going into and what you're interested in okay that's the bottom the um, underlying foundation okay with your business is you got to align your passions and or your interests to the the, the profits out there Okay, so align your passions with your profits, or with the profits, and then uh, you'll be starting off the correct way. So taking that into account, you want to come here and make sure that you choose the right types of offers that are in line and relevant with your uh, niche for your business. Okay, so if you're in the sports and uh, you know, health industry you know, niche, then this is what we're looking at as an example. Okay. So with that said, how to choose an offer. Okay, so you come over here to look at the three month and the seven day EPC. The EPC is one of the most, uh, actually it's the, the most relevant, uh, important metric that people look at inside of the affiliate marketing arena or just the uh, internet marketing world. And the reason for that is it takes 
the average, or the, it takes a, um, a, a calculation based upon the total amount of clicks, how many people have clicked on the offers that have been promoted inside of this network with CJ, and they divide it by the earnings, and how many, how, how much uh, money people have earned within that, uh, within the network for this specific offer. Okay, and so that's why you see that this number here, $231.25, you've just divided that number, how many clicks divided by the uh, amount of money that is earned. So what this tells you though is that the higher the EPC, the more money is being made within on average this past three months and then the past seven days, this is the amount. Okay, so what you're looking for is you should be looking for an offer that has at least, my recommendation and my, my guideline is to always look for uh, offers that have at least a 30 EPC or higher. And so far, you'll notice that all of these ones do until you start to get to, uh, you know, like the fourth or fifth page. You'll notice that once you get to the fifth page, they're usually a lot lower. See that? Three months, seven day, so $9.56 is still not bad at all. You know, when you compare this to, uh, you know, all the other EPC offers out there with, uh, you know, CPA networks and so forth. But... We're not going to get into that right now, since the topic here is how to choose an offer within the CJ network. Okay, so going back to this example here, we chose a sports type of category, and we're looking for offers that we're interested in. We're going to go back here to the first page that I was previously on, on page number one. Okay, now you'll be able to go through and choose. Well, what kind of offer am I interested in? If you were interested in the Bowflex and promoting them. They have a really great EPC for the past three months and past seven days. Their network earnings that I haven't talked about yet is also really high. There's five bars there in the progress bar. It's not really a progress bar. It's more of a rating of the uh, network earnings that has been generated within CJ. The higher, the better. Okay, so you're looking at the EPC of 30 or above is my guideline. It's up to you. But that's my guideline. And the network earnings should be as high as possible. And then over here, it tells you the sale and lead. Okay, so the sale tells you how much they'll pay you. Usually it's a dollar amount or a percentage. So this is or Yowza Fitness. They pay you 8% US dollars. And they also offer a performance incentive, which means that once you hit certain benchmarks, they'll pay you out extra, which is always kind of cool. Okay, but the sale, once again, they'll tell you either a dollar amount or a percentage amount. And this National Academy of Sports Medicine, they pay you $50 for each sign-up, it looks like. And then a lead is where they, uh, you, know, you're, you promote the offer and they come to the website and usually they just have to enter in their name and email or you know, complete the application. They usually don't have to buy anything uh, to uh, get paid out for a lead. Okay, so to get more detail on these offers, you'll want to simply click on the, the uh, link for the company name right here, okay? So we're going to click on, let's click on the uh, National Academy of Sports Medicine, okay? We're going to click on that. The box will pop up, and you'll notice here that there's a bunch more detail on where the company is located in the United States, the URL, and the currency and so forth. When they joined CJ, they joined you know, last year, and just read up. Okay, what you want to do here is read up on the company and get clear about what kind of company they are so you can be competent about promoting this offer. Okay, this affiliate program offers uncapped earning, potential, and unique product and a dedicated support team to provide your organization with all the resources it needs, so on and so forth. Okay, read that. It's very important to do that and understand the nature of their company and what they do. Now, what they're telling you here is that the NASM, their company, their affiliate program details, they pay out $50 per sell. And that's what you saw earlier over here in that column I pointed out. So $50 per sell, and then, ten, then the uh, $10 payout per free trial purchase. So they go to their website, and we'll be able to check out their website here in just a moment uh, in this example. And you'll notice the uh, type of form they fill out. 
okay, to apply for a free trial. And then anytime someone fills out that free trial, you get 10 bucks. Okay, what the cookie duration means is that anytime someone clicks on your link, they can buy anytime within that 45 day time period and still you would get a, a, credit, um, a commission credited to you. So if they only clicked on your link once and then they clicked and then they went through the website again without clicking on your link on the 44th day and still bought, you would still get credit. But if they clicked on your link once and then they didn't visit the site again until the 46th of the day and then they bought, you wouldn't get a commission. Okay. So basically, if you uh, if you don't know much about a cookie, what that means is it just resets the timer anytime someone clicks on that link. If they click on it once, they have 45 days to buy. If they don't click on it again on your link, before you get the credit. Okay. So. That's uh, it's always good look for companies that have a long, longer cookie duration, but that's not bad. 45 days is not bad at all. This company tells you the average order size, which is $460. This is just information for your education on promoting this offer. And not every single company will tell you what the average order size is. Okay. This is also nice if they tell you the target audience, which is cool. Okay, they target audience. Their target audience is, you know, uh, 24 to 32. Male and female ratio is 50-50, and 65% are college graduates. Okay, good to know. It helps you customize your offers better, you know, because you know that information. So they're taking a you know a better step forward and giving you more information about their target audience. And most companies, you know, don't do that. And then they tell you the top 10 traffic areas include California, Texas, and so on and so forth, which is also a perk you know, for this type of company. You now they're really you know, doing, doing as best as they can to help you out promoting their offer, which is a good sign with a, 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 you know, a healthy working relationship with um, the advertiser. You want to have a, a good win-win relationship with them. Okay, so now what you got to do is uh, simply come down here and look at the details and nature of this specific uh, program for this offer. Okay, with the NASM. So what this uh, is telling you down here is uh, with this action, the free trial where they pay you out $10 okay, per order, the action is where the customer signs up for a free trial. Okay, they're descri describing here what action they want you to accomplish. Okay, so as long as you send someone to their website after someone clicks on your link and then they sign up for a free trial, okay, you'll get 10 bucks for every free trial. And the referral per period is 45 days, that's the cookie. The number of occurrences is one time, you can only get paid out one time for that customer. And the locking period after 10 days is when it locks and it confirms that you got that commission, okay? And then the second type of action that they allow, which we described earlier, is that they purchase something, yeah, a valid payment. And once again, it's a valid 45-day cookie. And with this one right here, people could buy as many times as they wanted to. Yeah? And with this particular action, you get $50 for every order that is successfully submitted through them. And then it locks on the 10th of each month. Okay? So keep those uh, you know elements in mind when you look at an offer and uh, get really familiar with it and then down here each company that you apply to you know will teach you and uh, uh, disclose a lot of information about what you can and cannot do regarding promoting their offer okay so this uh, right here tells you this company it says search campaigns protected uh, search engine marketing bid keyword bidding keywords okay these are keywords that publishers are prohibited from bidding on for search marketing campaigns, such as using Google, you know, Google AdWords or Bing advertising, and so and elsewhere. Okay, you cannot use National Academy of Sports Medicine. Okay, if you do that, then you'll be banned from their program, and any commissions you've earned will be forfeited. You can't use NASM. You know, you can't use that. Okay, so very important. You know, get uh, clear about what you know, the, the do's and the don'ts are for each specific offer. Okay, I can't stress that enough. And so make sure you do it right, play by the rules, and you, you'll be just peachy. <laughs>
So right here, it just explains a bit more about the negative matching for protected keywords. Okay, these are all, you know, as you start to learn more and more about AdWords and search engine marketing and so forth, you'll uh, you know, learn more and more about negative keywords and how to do that correctly, but that's not the nature of this particular uh, tutorial. So, But just know that these are the rules that you need to abide by. Uh, search campaigns, non-compete, you know, SEM bidding keywords, same thing. And then uh, special instructions. So read up on that. Be familiar with the offer. If you like that type of company and you say, yeah, I'm excited about promoting it and you want to move forward, then just mark the box right there. Click on Apply to Program. Okay, now once you apply the, uh, click on Apply to Program, it'll tell you one of three things. It'll either tell you this advertiser approves publishers manually. Okay, they're going to review the application and then they'll send me an email afterwards. So right now, my application is going to be marked as pending application. And then if I'm approved, I'll get an email. Okay, so you'll notice that once you apply to the program and click on accept, then over here on the status column, it says pending application. Okay, you'll notice that each time you uh, apply to any of your companies within the CJ network. Okay, let's apply to one more. Yeah, you, you can actually apply to multiple ones all at the same time. And if you do that, and you click on Apply to Program, a box once again will pop up. But then you'll need to make sure that you go through and see which ones have accepted you and which ones have not. And you'll uh, see that um, Yowza Fitness, they said, pen the application. And Bowflex, we need to click on this link right here and review the terms and conditions first. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll through here. Okay, click on accept and it'll mark the box. You need to make sure you do that. The power system, see? That company accepted, uh, accepted me into the program automatically. Okay, so I've been approved. I could start promoting them right afterwards. Okay, I can start promoting them now. The pro form, see I'm just giving you an example of what uh, these companies will do if you apply in mass to all of them all at the same time. So they said pending application, pending application, and you know this one um, got to review the terms and conditions again. So go through them again. Click on accept, then click on continue. Okay, and some of them may decline you. You know, there's one of them that I just saw that declined me, which is okay. You know, if if you don't uh, get accepted with them right now, then you can always reapply and down the road. Some of these companies uh, a lot of times look for you making money first with some of the other companies and before they'll accept you. And then once you make some money, then you can reapply. Okay, so, so far I've taught you how to go about applying to these uh, companies and how to get accepted with them, marking the box and applying to them, and how to look for offers that pay you out well. The EPC is really important to look at. Okay, look for offers that are least above the guideline that I mentioned, which is 30 or above. It has high network earnings, the sell, and the lead pays you out great. You can also sort by column. By If you were to look for offers that pay you out the most per lead, you click on that link, and it'll sort it just by lead based upon the highest payout. So lead, $10, $10, get and just lists it out. And alternatively, you can click on the sell column and it'll sort all of the offers based upon the highest sell from the lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Okay? And then I also pointed out the ones that you've applied to and have been accepted with will say you've been accepted or pending application. Okay. So this is where you go to to uh, get links okay? and search specifically for companies that you're interested in promoting. So get links, general categories. Okay, now once you've applied and you've been accepted with some of these um, affiliate networks, or affiliate, sorry, <laughs> affiliate offers, then you can uh, move forward with clicking on buy relationship right here, and you can move forward with getting the links to the offers that you want to promote. Now I'm going to do a, a, a second part of this training and teach you more about um, how to add these affiliate offers that you've been accepted with to your website and how to promote them. But for right now, we're going to stop right there and uh, leave it 
um, at, at that point. And so um, have fun with this. You know, focus in on applying to your um, companies that you're interested in based upon your niche. Get accepted with all the companies that you're interested in, that you're excited about promoting, that you believe in, that you personally can recommend. And uh, you'll do a far more, far better promoting companies that you believe in than ones that just pay you out well. They, there needs to be that combination. You need to believe in them and they need to pay you out well.